Hi, uh, in this brief video, I, uh, I'll try to explain how to set up this uh, EasyCast device physically. Uh, I will uh, explain how to uh, set it up uh, software-wise uh, in a separate video. Now, uh, basically what you have in the package uh, is these two devices. This is uh, the, e the EasyCast device itself and uh, its uh, cable. Now, uh, when you see this device, you might think, hey, it, looks, it just looks like Chromecast. And you're right. This is a, a Chromecast clone uh, or knockoff. But it has uh, features that are absent in uh, Chromecast. And that makes this device, in my personal opinion, uh, a very good fit for uh, iOS device or iDevices uh, users. Now, um, what you have here is uh, a um, HDMI uh, port. And uh, this, this cable looks like a standard uh, charging cable that you use uh, with Android phones uh, or other gadgets, but it has uh, uh, something extra. And uh, this is actually a uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Now, what you do with these two is obviously you plug in the micro USB end into here, like so. And then this one goes into uh, uh, an HTM HDMI port uh, in your TV set. Now here we have a TV set which I'm going to use uh, as an example. Let's go back and see uh, see the back side of this TV set. Now this particular TV set has two HDMI ports and one is already occupied and it, it, it has a cable it has, it has an HDMI cable that connects to a uh, Blu-ray uh, recorder slash player. Now, this thing here goes into the other port uh, like so. See that? Now, you have to power this device. So, uh, and it's powered by this USB cable. If your TV set has uh, a USB port, uh, perhaps for uh, connecting uh, an external uh, hard disk drive, you could use that. But, um, but you can do any kinds of USB charging port. Um, um, <laughs> Here, at, at this setup, I use this uh, uh, USB hub for charging it. But really, you can use any uh, USB uh, charging, uh, charging adapter. Whatever it is, that, that's fine. Now, um, as you can see, well, so you could just plug it in like, like so. However, See, the, the, unfortunately, uh, with this TV set, the cable is it happens to be not long enough. So um, there, um, if you know you you have a similar situation, there are a couple ways to deal with it. Um, one option is to uh, get yourself uh, an HDMI uh, extension cable, which. Uh, connects here and here. That's one option. Uh, second option is to use a uh, get a get yourself a, a standard USB extension cable that connects here and here. That's option two. The third option, which uh, I decided to use here, is to use a um, uh, ah. Excuse me. Uh, this is a, a micro USB ex extension cable. And uh, 
So um, I'm going to use this here, like so, and plug it in, like so. Uh, when you use, when you decide to go with this option three, make sure your micro USB extension cable is capable of data connection as well, not just for charging. I made that mistake. And the problem uh, with using just uh, the, the cable just for charging is that it will not uh, let this device use the function of this uh, uh, external Wi-Fi wi antenna. So it won't really work. So be careful with that. Now, with, with this, I am going to plug it in like so. And then look down here. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in into the USB hub, which is charged, I mean, which is uh, self-powered uh, USB hub. Now, uh, this happens to have a, a switch, so I'm gonna turn it in, and let's go see the TV. As you can see, the, the device is booting up. And this is what you get. Now, of course, you have to um, choose the proper uh, input channel. Um, and in this particular case, it's input to channel six. So I have already uh, chosen that. That's why it, uh, I didn't have to switch through uh, input channels. Now, um, when it boots up, you get this kind of screen. Uh, it might be slightly, it might be slightly different depending on the firmware of the device uh, that you have, and particularly this part is probably going to be different. But I'm going to talk about it later. Thanks for watching.